so guys let's start uh, the simulation in Aspen plus this time and we will consider the same question and we have done it in chemcad earlier you can check out the past two videos and so these were the details that we obtained after the simulation in chemcad so let's now try out the simulation in Aspen okay this is Aspen plus new blank simulation create one okay so we are considering the same question in Aspen plus this time the one we had considered in chemcat let's see what what's the difference so this is uh, Aspen plus click on simulation yeah here we have the work work flow sheet uh, main workspace so we go to columns and distillation column here's a distillation column just put it up here let's name it two okay so uh, then put click the pointer and drag the distillation column to our view so next material we input the feed the feed um, yes let's write feed okay and the top product top t o p let's write t o p oh that's that's a uh, id already so uh, let's try anything uh, t mm, let it be t okay t for top okay top product and b for bot so this is the bottom product so we have these three three streams like we had made it in chemcat and next we uh so we have drawn the flow sheet like the same uh, in chemcat and let's specify it. okay so this was the question now let's move on to the input so right click on feed and there's the input and in the top bar you can switch to main flow sheet and then feed so let's put the temperature as 298 kelvin and pressure at one bar that's the feed stream we are defining the feed stream now so next is total mole 100 kilo mole per hour that's in the question okay here's the question okay then component we need the component now so first of all in aspen you have to go to the properties and then components so there is component and uh right ethanol so search for it it's here then write propanol and both these components are here so let's go let's go to simulation and so here is the feed stream input and ethanol is 50 so mole flow okay you can switch through them but here in the question is mole flow so that's 50 and propanol 50 so total is 100 100 100 both are same so we have specified the input there's a blue tick so that means input is complete so next move to the column and column specifications here you will see that number of stages 20 and feed stage 10 so what is extra there are some extra things that we need here so this is a question and reflex ratio 1.5 but uh that's okay the first three column are, uh, first three inputs are okay but here we have have to mention the distill late to feed mole ratio so aspen plus needs this whereas in chemcat we didn't require it so from here from chemcat data we found out that feed to mole uh feed to uh sorry distillate to feed ratio was around uh 0 0.49 
Yes. That is the type total. Uh, next, we have to mention the pressure. So, S1 Plus also needs the condenser and reboiler pressure, whereas in ChemCAD it wasn't needed. So, from ChemCAD data, we find out that it is uh, around 1 atm or 1 bar or 1 atm. Let, let's take it all in atm. Yes, so we are done with the input, the blue ticks on there, and so let's run the simulation. Let's see what else do we need. So let's go to home, and this next tab will uh, tell us what's next to be inputted. So this is the global, and here you see we have to select the method. So method is common, let's take common and base method uh, nrtl okay right uh, because these were the methods used in chemcat 2 and it suits the best to this system so next this is a component database and next simulation again run so we run it so it is running and after some time we will get the data just a few seconds uh, yeah results available so let's go to report um where's the report yeah that that's the report button and click on it and let's get all the report so here's the report of all the simulation we have done and it contains a lot of things let's move on to the things that we require so this is a mass and energy balance pretty much good and well defined and next we have some other information again mass energy balance so in out and relative difference as plus has this way of reporting the simulation feed quality minus 0 0.419 okay now so there's lot of information here uh, like chemcad only but aspen plus requires certain details so but uh, did you notice that it didn't require the bottom uh, product composition so that was 0.93 propanol so it didn't require it re instead required the condenser pressure and reboiler pressure so thank you